Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 25th, 2023. Well, those markets continued to extend yesterday, stretching and stretching and stretching to the upside. And this morning, they're trying to pop once again in anticipation of earnings an FOMC announcement, an ECB announcement, decisions coming out of the Bank of Japan. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of things to deal with today. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I apologize. I'm a little bit tired this morning. We've got some circumstances here with the family going on. My, my wife's mother is um, fighting cancer and had a major struggle yesterday being uh, put into the hospital. Things are not um, going as smoothly as we would like to see around here. But I made her back so I could do the morning prep video for this morning. Let's take a look here. Um, as you can see, the diamonds has just been surging to the upside. We now have 11 days to the upside here in the Dow, really starting to stretch out here, um, stretching heavily away from its 50-day moving average. As, well, I can't really tell you if this is just huge anticipation or if it is just uh, maybe some irrational um, speculation going on in the market, but we are so bullish here that we're pricing in stocks um, basically to perfection as we wait for some big data points that could, well, it could either continue to extend or it could change everything very, very quickly. So I wanna, um, continue to um, tell everyone to be just a little bit cautious about over trading here how dangerous it could be if we happen to stumble um, in any uh, on anything here in the market the pullback could be substantial now that being said diamonds continuing to stretch to the upside so if those bulls can continue to find inspiration here today and try to push on through you can see we're testing this substantial resistance area in the chart right now and if we were to push through there well you'll notice that we might be able to stretch up into this area of the chart if they can continue to push to the upside. There's no reason to believe there's nothing in the chart suggesting yet that, that that is not possible because we just have a willingness right now to chase stocks higher. Um, pretty remarkable situation in the market. Now, if the bears were to happen to find inspiration, well, unfortunately, any any logical pullback in here is going to be a relatively painful pullback for um, the the markets. And one of the things we're going to have to be prepared for with big tech reports from Microsoft and Google happening after the bell today is we could see a big gap. So either big gaps to the upside or potential big gaps to the downside, which means from this very stretched position, we can look at painful pullbacks if something or if they were happen to disappoint. Now, um, watching this chart, I would suggest maybe some support right in that area. And the only other place I can see is maybe we come down in here, we test the high part of that candle or even these resistance levels in the chart, which are support levels in the chart, which would be um, a pretty painful pullback. Now, keeping in mind, even if that were to occur, that doesn't change the bullishness of this chart. We are extremely bullish and there doesn't seem to be anything right now convincing the market, despite the fact that we have um, very slow manufacturing, a, a, a weak PMI, um, there's just nothing um, to convince the market that um, there may be um, additional troubles ahead as we continue to stretch and extend. Now, just keeping in mind as we continue to do that, um, at some point in time, the market will come down. And when it does come down, uh, be ready because it could be um, substantial when it does. Now, taking a look at the SPY, we've held in this nice little consolidating 
pattern here in the SPY, and I would call this a bullish um, uh, consolidation in here and probably a healthy rest that we're seeing in the market. There has been really no um, selling to speak of here in the market as we um, just are heavily anticipating um, all the earnings coming up. So watching that close, if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today, then look for the next resistance level above in the chart. And I'm going to be placing that somewhere right in about right there um, if they can continue to press. And of course, we could test that uh, that high first um, right in here. But uh, just a little bit higher up here would be that next level in the price resistance of the chart. Now, if the bears were to find um, reason, um, then let's look for this support level here in the S&P 500 to be tested. If that were to break or fail, well, then, you know, you can see you could put in a lot of places here for a downside move um, that, from this extended position in the chart. So just be prepared for that possibility of a painful pullback if something were happen to disappoint the market. And keeping in mind that we would have to pull back a long ways for this to even become anywhere near a test of the 50-day moving average. We are so incredibly extended. If we take a look at our QQQ anticipation here, continues to be pretty high despite the fact that we've pulled back a little bit. There is a, um, a, a big chance of a substantial move back up here today just simply because of uh, some decisions out of China to stimulate their very sick um, property market. Um, and that pushed um, Hong Kong into a huge surge last night, up over 700 points, um, up over 4% on the index last night. And that's a very tech heavy sector. So we might see a pretty decent pop or upside opportunity here in the NASDAQ. Now looking at um, our NASDAQ, um, if we continue to, to see that bullishness, well, first off, I would look for uh, a test up into here. Um, of course, we can always hit these high points of other candles, but that up there would be pretty reasonable test of resistance up there. And if we can push through, then right up here again, to retest those highs. Once again, this has settled into more of a healthy resting consolidation here in the QQQ, and we're still extremely extended away from our 50-day moving average. And um, if those bulls stretch this out on these earnings reports, I would suggest maybe right up in here, um, right up in that area right there is where we might test that next resistance level of the chart. And after that, uh, possibility of all time highs coming here in the market, which is remarkable considering the condition of our market and we're still raising rates at the Federal Reserve. But with that said, um, if those bears were to find inspiration here today, then I'm gonna look for a test of this support down in here on the QQQ. If we look at our IWM, IWM um, had a, well, a little bit of back and forth yesterday. It tried to get going and then faltered a little bit, uh, but we are holding on to this little downtrend break. We're hanging in there pretty good. Um, we'll wanna watch that closely. If the bulls were to follow through to the upside, again, I'm gonna suggest that we move up here and retest that resistance right in there of that past high. If we can push through that, then we're gonna start looking for these points out here for those next resistance levels in the chart. And if the bears were to find inspiration, I'm gonna look for a test of this support. And then if that were to fail, then I'm expecting that we would come back down into this uh, a more major support level of the chart. Keeping in mind that even that would not hurt this extremely bullish market and very stretched away from its 50-day moving average here on the IWM. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX, um, interestingly enough, was just a little bit higher yesterday. So we had the VIX 
just move up just slightly yesterday as we continued to stretch in the markets to the upside. So if those bulls were to find inspiration here today, I would expect a retest or a push down into here to see whether we can push down through these levels. And if we do, then look for that to extend on lower. If the bears were to find inspiration here, um, then I would look for this resistance here to be tested first in the chart and if that were to break then we look at a move up here and what i will say is if we do break if we in some way shape or form break this relentless bull to the downside i would look for that fear to come in pretty strong pretty quickly um, particularly if it is generated by oh, let's say um, some bad earnings reports or possibly the Fed not um, providing the information that uh, the market is continuing to anticipate that the Fed's just gonna come out and say um, one rate increase and then we're gonna pivot, we're gonna do something else. Um, so far, um, there's not been any indication from any of those FedNet members that that might be the case. It's complete anticipation by the market. So just be prepared in case the FOMC were to disappoint. If we take a look at our um, T2122, our T2122 continues to be extremely extended and we pushed back up yesterday into that overextended area. This is an extreme condition here with such a long period of time pressing, pressing, pressing to the upside. So keep in mind, if we do get bullish information today or that bullish push, we may not have um, all that much upside opportunity because we're so stretched out in these indexes. However, if the bears were to find reason to attack, just kind of keep in mind, we've got a big downside opportunity that could open up um, in almost a trap door to the downside if something happens to disappoint. Not saying it will, just saying be prepared. Tighten up those stops. Remember, um, markets don't go up forever. Um, when they do break from ex these um, very exuberant um, runs to the upside, they usually break hard and they break painfully. So make sure you have a plan to protect your capital. Let's take a look at our T2108. Um, T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average. Yesterday was pretty flat, just kind of sticking in there um, in that pattern. There's nothing bearish here in this chart. This is a very, very bullish um, run to the upside, but we do want to keep in mind that we're stretching up here into very rarefied air. Um, it is, um, think about it, when we have um 75 percent of our stocks above our 40-day moving average and stretch up into the 80 percent um we're talking about levels that we haven't seen in a long time here in the market and a very overextended short-term position so watch that closely um, we may be running out of um, that upside move and we may be just in very thin air up here um, where it's a little bit hard to breathe um, with so many stocks extended. If we take a look at our T2107, percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average, uh, we continue to extend that yesterday over 60% of the stocks now above their 200 day. Again, a very, very extended position and we're up here in some really rarefied air um, also where it might be a little bit difficult to breathe for those bulls to continue to run to the upside in that extension there's nothing here right now that says bearish this and there's nothing here that's suggesting that yet so can we continue to extend yes we can but just be prepared in case some point in time those bulls start to stumble if we take a look at uh, T2101, T2101 hooking here yesterday, um, showing that shift maybe in momentum. There's tremendous anticipation about the big tech reports and um, it could create a lot of emotion in the day. So don't be too surprised, even though we show this momentum trying to shift, 
that we could see big whipsaws, we could see big reversals in the market and expect some morning gaps, whether they be up or down. Now, kind of keeping in mind, we've been running in this little bit of a downtrend. We could still stretch up into there. Just watch that close. If we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today, our economic calendar, well, I think it's going to be largely ignored. Um, we have the beginning of the FOMC meeting. We've got the Case Shiller Home Price Index. Um, obviously, it, it, it has the potential for moving the market, but we have largely ignored um, some of these economic figures here in the market with our anticipation of, of just extreme bullishness that the Fed is going to back off and we're going to start printing money again or something. I don't know. It's just a race to the upside and there is a kind of an irrational chase in my opinion to the upside. Now we've got um, house price indexes and we're also going to have consumer confidence coming in here today. But again, I largely expect those to be ignored and we'll probably completely ignore the Richmond Fed number because we've done such a good job of ignoring our manufacturing situation here in the country. Um, if we take a look, we've got some um, uh, bond announcements. I bought a five-year bond auction and money supply here today, but I think those will be totally ignored. Uh, of course, as we in, uh, look forward into Wednesday, we got a big day with new home sales. We've got the petroleum status. Um, we're going to have the FOMC and the Fed chair announcement. I don't think the FOMC, everyone knows the Fed's going to raise the rate by 25 basis points. It'd be a surprise if they didn't at this point. Um, it's what they say after that. How, how hawkish, how dovish they may sound after that will be the market moving event. However, what everyone's going to be thinking about today is probably none of that. Everyone is highly anticipating the big tech reports today from, whoops, that's the blog, from Google and uh, Microsoft. Um, Google will be reporting after the bell today. Microsoft will be reporting after the bell today. So um, you'll want to keep those in mind. Massive anticipation on those. Now, we have quite a few um, earnings reports this morning. I can't cover them all. So make sure you click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where, where you can get um, uh, that full list of notables so you, you can kind of stay in tune of what's happening and moving the market. Um, today we can look for 3M, 3M popping this morning on its earnings report, trying to move on higher. We've got um, Archer Daniels um, reporting today. We're going to hear from uh, GE, uh, GE popping here this morning, stretching on up to the upside. KMB, Kimberly Clark reporting today. We're going to hear from PacWest um, here today. We will hear from Spotify um, today. So keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from Verizon. And uh, not to mention, um, um, XRX will also be reporting today. So kind of keep an eye on that. A lot of potential market movers here today. So again, make sure you click that link below the title of the video to uh, go grab that um, full notable list. Let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click the subscribe button on YouTube, click that bell icon, leave a brief comment, clicking those thumbs up buttons helps a bunch that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that i apologize with all of the the craziness that we had here yesterday um, i didn't um, uh, get a chance to answer all of those um, uh, comments yesterday you they are very very important to me i'll try to be back on it today but i have to tell you it could be a little bit uh, weird around here uh, for the next several days um, with family things that we have going on so let's take a look at some of these stocks um, and um, keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security do your own due diligence make sure you're following your trading plan your risk tolerance never ever blindly follow 
anyone else's trade ideas. First off, let's take a look at US Steel. US Steel, I placed a price alert in here. And I am keeping an eye on this. Now this is gonna be very dependent on what happens with the US dollar. Um, US dollar continuing to stretch to the upside as those bond yields continue to surge back higher. We're ignoring it right now in the indexes, but those bonds keep surging back higher in anticipation of central bank um, um, increases on the way like the ECB that may, I think may be out this morning. If you take a look here, um, um, US Steel, nice little pattern, resting pattern here over to trend. Look for that next opportunity to the upside. Boy, one of the things that has been um, kind of surprising to me is all of the strength that we're showing in these um, retail stocks. The Gap stores moving up, uh, pushing into a nice little potential pattern possibly looking for that breakthrough here to the upside. Um, I've mentioned Walmart yesterday and Walmart just ripping um, this morning, breaking through this resistance up here. And we're looking at, look at this, all time highs in Walmart as we head toward the um, earnings um, in Walmart, just really stretching to the upside. Um, I'm seeing um, moves in Kohl's, nice upside move. You can see my price alert was there. Um, stretching on up to the upside. Um, so we've got a lot of those uh, moving. As you guys remember, I mentioned um, Starbucks yesterday um, in the morning prep. That was my initial alert. Continues to show bullishness, that opportunity that that might push on through to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Um, Mosaic continues to move to the upside. Very, very strong there in Mosaic, trying to stretch on higher here. Watch that one closely, any rest or pullback, setting up an opportunity. Of course, we um, I, I continue to mention oil and gas and yesterday I talked about Occidental. Um, initial alert was down here and that is continuing to move to the upside. Really stretched yesterday, pushing up. So any rest or pullback in here um, after breaking through that resistance would set up an opportunity somewhere along that trend. And you can just see that in a lot of stocks. APA, uh, ConocoPhillips, all moving to the upside. Take a look at natural gas. Now natural gas has struggled and struggled and struggled but I like this little what resting uh, pattern in here and I have to tell you that I have a bias on this trade because I am holding this um, looking for a longer term position if we hold in here and show more upside opportunity I'll probably be building a fairly substantial position in natural gas I've done this before and um, it's paid off extremely well this is quite a basing pattern and if we are going to be bullish in the market, then we're definitely going to need more natural gas. So watch that carefully if that can pop through to the upside. You might want to take a look at um, FedEx. FedEx is also setting up in a pattern. You can see I had an alert right here. We've moved up nicely. Now we're just kind of resting and consolidating this over to trend. Look for that next upside opportunity in the chart. Uh, PayPal, very, very strong here. Um, initial alert was right down in here, moving straight up to the upside here, resting back now and moving back over here to this trend. Look for that next opportunity. Now keep in mind, we're going to have to pay attention to these earnings reports. A lot of these stocks are going to be reporting here soon. So kind of keep that in mind. That can change things an awful lot. Take a look at CF, another um, ag related, food related, ripping to the upside. And that's one thing we'll have to be paying attention to as these ag related, food related stocks continue to surge to the upside. And we're seeing oil and gas surging to the upside. We're not seeing any relief in the housing prices that plays into that potential of a um, higher inflation rate. But that being said, very, very bullish chart. Any resting pullback in here, look for that next opportunity to the upside in CF Industries. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for everyone, all the thoughts and prayers uh, for the family. I, I do really appreciate that. You guys are truly awesome. Have a, have a great day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Wishing you all the very, very best.